Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Time AD TV. I'm your host, and from my TV, and welcome back to Late Night News. Uh, our top story of the day is some election shenanigans going on in Georgia, but first, our headlines for today. An elevator malfunction in former auto call goad mine get, leaves one person dead and 12 trapped. A pouty Donald Trump cancels 60 minute interview calls for CBS to lose broadcast license. The remains of Andrew Sandy Irvine believed have been believed to be found on Everest. And on to our main story of the day, a federal judge rejects a call to reopen voter registration in Georgia after Hurricane Helen. Uh, if you if you are interested in any of our um of, of the of the of our headlines, we go into more detail of the short feed on our YouTube channel. A federal judge says Thursday she won't order the presidential battleground state of Georgia to reopen voter registration for November's elections despite recent disruptions to registration caused by Helene. The U.S. District Judge Eleanor Ross rejected the argument that they should reopen registration through next Monday. The registration deadline was last Monday, and she said in her ruling from the bench that there would be no extension. Ross said in her ruling that the three groups sued didn't sufficiently prove their members were harmed and said there was no state laws allowing Governor Brian Kemp and Secretary Brad Raffensperger, the Republican defendants in the case, to order an extension a voter registration deadline, although the groups presented testimony Thursday, they say they know at least two people unable to register. Ross said the testimony wasn't detailed enough to link that failure to the burdens of Helene. I don't think we even had one voter who was harmed or would be likely harmed by failure to register to vote, Ross said. I'm going to be so fucking for real. The whole reason why, you know, like... After a hurricane, it makes sense to do shit like that. It, it, it's logical, but we don't live... but places like Georgia aren't logical because their state government is run by uh, conservative lunatics. The fact of the matter is, and this has been the case, this has been the case since the election in 2000. Ever since the, ever since the uh, 2004 election with Bush and Kerry, the fact of the matter is, is that for the last 20 years in this country, when it comes to elections, period, everywhere, period, federal, state, local level, period, when people show up to vote in math, Democrats overwhelmingly win almost everywhere. Not, e not everywhere, almost everywhere. Maybe that is less. That is tr definitely true at the state level. That is definitely true at the federal level. Maybe it is probably not as true at the local level, depending on where you are. And the fact of the matter is, the reason why over the last twenty years, Republicans have have done everything they can to restrict people's ability to register to vote, to go vote, to make it, to making vote as voting as cumbersome and in a and and uh and and uh uh ha and hassleful as possible is because they know that the people that won't vote for them work long hours and jobs that won't let them get have time off for things like voting and the people that will vote for them have time off that have PTO and or they're business owners and they don't actually have to work in the first place. They the, the, the Republican Party in this country has made every single effort to make voting in states where 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 they don't have an ironclad grasp very difficult because they know when democrats show up to vote in mass and are able to vote in mass not even just democrats but just people like the population in general they don't win they do not win because fundamentally as much as as uh social issues and identity politics are a huge thing in in the republican party and are constantly bitched about in this country fundamentally even those social positions are not widely popular and all of the Republican political prescriptions from an economic perspective are not popular. And in that vein, they don't win, period. Also in states like Oklahoma, where they have an ironclad control, 
mail-in voting and access to polls and all that stuff is made readily accessible because they don't have to worry about the other side usurping them. So in places where Republicans have a firm, strong majority that isn't contested in any way, they make voting easier for people. It is obviously hypocritical. Every conservative accusation is projection and all of their caring about election integrity and stuff like that is just a veneer to prevent poor, brown, black, and other people from being able to vote. Period. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.